Hi, everybody. This is Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. This is an update for the All Hazards Consortium. On this Tuesday, July 8th, 2025, we share information across platforms from private sector liaisons uh, within state emergency operations centers to private sector organizations like in the food, fuel, medical supply, transportation, communication, and energy sectors so we can all share information and be on the same page at the same time when it comes to high impact weather events. And that's what we're observing right now in the mid-Atlantic. We have a line of severe thunderstorms uh, that's been severe warned in parts of Pennsylvania, uh, not so much in Maryland quite yet, but the satellite imagery is pretty impressive. I'm gonna take this full screen, we'll get right into this so I can give you a little roundup of what's going on. Uh, we do have severe thunderstorm watch in effect uh, throughout the mid-Atlantic. This is the one minute satellite imagery uh, from the NOAA GOES satellite, you can move this around. You can see these bubbles in the clouds. Look at these thunderstorms starting from cumulus clouds, and then they get more unstable. They get rise and lift. Uh, then they turn into towering cumulus clouds and then into thunderstorms that develop these anvils. And you can see the shadows moving right across uh, the Blue Ridge and Western Virginia towards the Washington, D.C. area, towards Baltimore, Annapolis, uh, up towards Philadelphia and eastern Pennsylvania. This area is very saturated in the ground here, so it won't take a lot to cause flood and flash flood warnings. As a matter of fact, um, I can show you a little bit of enhancement to these clouds here, and you can see what it looks like from the standpoint of these individual thunderstorm cells that are really blowing up. These uh, cell storm cells, some of which have hail and strong gusty winds, severe thunderstorm warning in effect for this one here up around Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, there's also a severe thunderstorm warning out here in Western Virginia. I'll show you that on the radar data in just a minute. I've combined this satellite image, the visible satellite sector, uh, with the low level moisture in the atmosphere. That's what the GOES satellite can detect, not just low level, but mid level and high level. We can separate that out. And this is what it looks like. So you can see very, very moist air right down here in Southern Maryland, but dew points are very high ahead of this as well. Why? Because Tropical Storm Chantal left behind high dew points, a lot of humidity. It's almost like you're wearing it when you go outside. You just got to shake it off. Uh, but that combined with the sun is fueling instability. And uh, we have this uh, instability showing up in the form of thunderstorms now, which are going to propagate right across the metro areas of Washington, uh, Richmond and Washington, and also Baltimore up towards Philadelphia, um, and then into Delaware as well. So we're going to watch these very closely because uh, they may turn severe. And uh, you want to make sure if you hear thunder, make sure you go indoors because lightning has really been a killer. Uh, in the past, uh, five, six people killed this year so far because of lightning. You don't want to be that seventh person that's out there saying, look at this awesome storm. I'm going to stand out here in my yard and all of a sudden, boom, lightning strikes seemingly out of nowhere. It all comes out of a thunderstorm cloud, but you may not think it's anywhere close to you. That's called bolt from the blue and you can be struck. So make sure you get into a place of safety uh, when these storms approach. I'm taking a wider look real quick so you can see what's going on around the country. And we do have that line of showers and storms that are forming here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh this uh, to get the latest imagery here so you can see those thunderstorms that came out of uh, West Virginia and forming right here. Uh, we also have some showers and storms in coastal South Carolina and also in the Midwest, uh, Oklahoma into Arkansas. Uh, the National Weather Service, the Storm Prediction Center, has issued a special uh, discussion, a mesoscale discussion, saying that uh, the likelihood of them issuing a watch out here uh, is, is not high. It likely won't happen, but there could still be strong thunderstorms with uh, very heavy downbursts, so uh, briefly producing some gusty winds. Uh, but the Weather Service is unlikely to issue a watch here. I'll show you that on GeoCollaborate and what it looks like. This is GeoCollaborate full screen. And that's what this area in purple is. Uh, 
uh, right here. This is the mesoscale discussion area from Oklahoma into Arkansas, parts of northern Texas. This emanates out of the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, where they're uh, watching all of this weather very closely. There's another mesoscale discussion here in South Carolina and parts of uh, west central North Carolina, where another watch is not likely either, but there could be scattered showers and storms uh, that move into this area. And you can see that here with the radar data turned on uh, moving into parts of North Carolina. There's a heat advisory there. There's a flood watch. Uh, it's all very saturated because of the heavy rain, the tropical storm Chantal left by, uh, it left in North Carolina, where the flooding in a couple of the rivers approached record levels. Now, if we move up here into Virginia, there's also heat advisories in effect and uh, severe thunderstorm watches. Let me draw this down just a little bit here. So we have a severe thunderstorm watch from Virginia on up into Maryland and Pennsylvania, all the way up to about New York City. And uh, that means that these thunderstorms that are moving into that watch area now uh, could produce severe thunderstorms and severe thunderstorm warnings. And some of them are right now. You can see this polygon right here. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. If you live in this area, I know many people don't understand where they live on a map, uh, but this is uh, near Harrisburg in Pennsylvania. Uh, this is a severe thunderstorm warning for thunderstorm winds that could exceed 60 miles per hour and also hail that could damage cars and roofs. So make sure you head into a place of safety around Harrisburg and places to the east. Monitor, if you have a no weather radio, monitor that. Your local broadcast meteorologist or the National Weather Service, uh, they will come across the radio. If you're listening to AM or FM radio, will come across with uh, special weather alerts. There's a new severe thunderstorm warning that's just been issued here for Frederick County with this storm coming out of Harpers Ferry, West Virginia here uh, that has some severe uh, tendencies to it. I'll take a look at that a little bit closer uh, with the radar data. So let me go over here and move uh, to the radar. This is the National Weather Service high resolution Doppler radar. I'm going to zoom into this thunderstorm, uh, the severe thunderstorm warning moving through Frederick County right through uh, Ballinger Creek towards Urbana. Uh, this severe thunderstorm warning uh, does say a uh, chance of hail, uh, half inch hail. Uh, let's take a look at this severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, it is, uh, remains in effect until 345 for southwestern Frederick County and north central Maryland and northern Loudoun counties in northern Virginia. So at 332, severe thunderstorm is located near Braddock Heights, near Harry Grove Stadium. Uh, moving to the east at 25 miles per hour. The hazard is 60 mile per hour wind gust. This is radar indicated, so it hasn't been verified on the ground, uh, but the radar in Sterling, Virginia is picking up those winds. That's why a warning has been issued. We also have some of these thunderstorms that are developing ahead of this uh, leading edge of thunderstorms in the instability, and they're moving from basically southwest uh, to northeast. And so they could pass through Howard County, going through uh, Carroll County and to Baltimore County, up towards southern Pennsylvania. Uh, keep an eye on this line. It could impact you uh, in the Washington, D.C. area over the next hour uh, to hour and a half. And also in Baltimore, uh, these could uh, have very heavy rain associated with them, which could cause uh, flash flood warnings. That's where the water comes up quickly, and rapidly. You want to make sure that you stay away from low roads when flash flood warnings are issued. As a matter of fact, uh, I can show you what it looks like from the standpoint of flood risks uh, right now. Uh, this is flood risks to transportation operations for the All Hazards Consortium. And you can see flash flood watch. That means flooding is possible. Operations should be alerted to flood prone areas during routes. Detours may become necessary with little advanced warning. Freight and personnel delays due to localized flooding. Also, hazardous travel if watches escalate to warnings or emergencies. You can see down at the bottom, active weather service watches exist in Connecticut, D.C., Delaware, Massachusetts, Maryland, North Carolina, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Virginia. Look to the right-hand side of your screen, the flash flood warning. 
When there's a flash flood warning in effect, water could be coming over roads, which may trap vehicles or cause detours. Do not drive around any flooded uh, road signs, road close signs. Believe me, your truck won't make it. Is it really worth that gamble? Freight movement may be stalled due to impassable low spots. Traffic rerouting may lead to regional gridlock. And emergency response delays may increase risk to assets. So it's really important if there's a watch, there may be a warning issued that's going to have serious implications uh, to uh, that transportation network. We call it critical infrastructure. I'm going to go back and take a look at the radar and you can see uh, what's going on right now with those thunderstorms moving through. There is a lot of watches, warnings, advisories being issued by the National Weather Service around the country. I just want to show that to you as well with our live updating dashboard here uh, with GeoCollaborate. This is flash flood and flood watches on the left-hand side. Look at all those watches and the states that they impact. These are in effect right now. And then over towards the right are the flash flood warnings that the National Weather Service forecast offices have issued because there is imminent threat of life-threatening floods happening right now in these states, North Carolina, Arkansas, Virginia, Texas, and, uh, and it's ongoing. So this is an updating dashboard here at Storm Center Communications and GeoCollaborate that will take each and every day we do these uh, weather updates. Okay, uh, back to the radar for a moment. Uh, that severe thunderstorm warning is still in effect in Frederick County, and there's been a couple of other severe thunderstorm warnings issued here in Virginia. Uh, these areas just south of Front Royal uh, are under uh, severe thunderstorm warnings headed towards uh, the Plains and Washington, Virginia. Some of these thunderstorms could have hail. There's been some indication uh, that hail may be trying to form in uh, some of these thunderstorms. Uh, it doesn't look like this line will last a long time once it's coming through, but wind gusts to 60 miles per hour certainly will cause a number on any damaged tree limbs from earlier storms uh, and pot potentially bring those tree limbs down uh, onto wires. Just widening out real quick, and you can hear the no weather radio going off with another warning. Cumberland County in South Central Pennsylvania. Southeastern Dauphin County in South Central Pennsylvania. Northwestern Lancaster County in South Central Pennsylvania. Lebanon County in South Central Pennsylvania. North Central York County in South Central Pennsylvania. Until 645. And now you can see, I put the that, that weather radio up to me, and I just want to show it to you what it looked like. This is the portable NOAA weather radio. This is from uh, Midland uh, Radio. They put together and manufacture NOAA weather radios. Look at that. It even has a built-in flashlight uh, in it. So uh, that helps if you're at night and you need to flash it, need to signal for help. This is something that you can charge up just by, by um, moving this crank around. By moving this crank, you charge up your radio. You don't even need a plug to charge it up. And these watches, warnings, and advisories from the Weather Service are free and through the air. There are transmitters all across the country. Now, what was being alerted with this uh, advisory, this warning uh, that was being uh, put out? I'm going to switch over here back to the radar and show you what it looked like. So here's what it looked like right here. You see this flood warning, this green polygon? That is exactly the polygon that was issued to make that no weather radio go off. The rain is very intense in this area in northern Lancaster County, and that is causing the flooding of roads. It's very saturated here. It doesn't take a lot of rain to wash off the farmland across those roads. There are a lot of low crossing roads, just like in Texas, where the water will leave its banks in the small streams and come across the road. Turn around, don't drown, don't be a victim to Mother Nature's storms. Be informed from no weather radio, your weather apps on your telephone, or just listening to the radio with their special weather statements that come across. Okay, just briefly, just widening out to the rest of the nation here, and that was really amazing that the no weather radio went off. Although we are in an unstable environment, I suspect it's gonna be going off many times uh, this evening.
Those no weather radios are lifesavers, and that's something that you should consider getting, particularly if you are a camper and you go around campgrounds, you camp close to low-lying areas which have rivers or streams going through them. You never know when a thunderstorm is going to happen upstream. All of a sudden, water's coming down. And there goes the no weather radio again with another alert. So there you go. You have that other alert for Pennsylvania. It's a very active weather day. And uh, please consider no weather radio to get those latest alerts. Well, this is the GOES satellite picture. Look out west. It's very warm out there. The heat is starting to build. And there's not going to be much in the way of any severe weather out to the west. A heat dome is setting up uh, there. And you can see right in the middle... This is an area in Oklahoma and Arkansas that I just talked about already. What about out west? I haven't showed the Goes West satellite image uh, that much lately, but you can see what's going on. It's pretty quiet. We have a low-level sort of stratus clouds here, very stable uh, environment down here as well. Uh, you can see in the uh, tropical uh, easterlies here uh, moving across Hawaii. Hawaii looks very nice. I uh, have uh, some decent surfing going on there right now. And... Look at this, the tropical Pacific right now, currently at this moment is uh, somewhat quiet. So we don't have any active hurricanes or tropical storms there. Uh, we always watch in this area for potential development. Okay, let's head over to uh, the forecast so I can show you what's going on as far as that's concerned. And here we are, this is the HER model, the HRRR high resolution rapid refresh. I'm just going to go through this pretty quickly. I have this stopped at this particular time, uh, which is late this evening, as these line of showers and thunderstorms come through. We'll have an initial uh, burst of uh, storms coming through around rush hour. Uh, but uh, this is something where the, uh, the HER model is, uh, let me see if I can update this to the latest model here. Here we go. Uh, you see these thunderstorms coming through uh, later this afternoon. That could cause... Strong winds, flooding rains because the soil is saturated, uh, as I mentioned. And then those storms continue. And look how they blow up on the Maryland's eastern shore in Delaware. We could see more severe thunderstorm warnings and flash flood warnings overnight tonight. So please watch. Be very careful and mindful of the storms uh, if they form a little bit later today and move towards you. And we're seeing them on radar right now. They're the ones that warnings, active warnings, have been coming into. I'm going to switch this over uh, for one still image, and that is the heat. Look how it stretches across the country uh, from Maine all the way over to California. There's not much in the way of cool temperatures here uh, during the day today, and that is going to continue. Of course, it's summer. It does get warm, uh, but we have uh, excessive heat uh, that's going to be building in the west, and we can see out down towards Las Vegas. Uh, right now, temperatures uh, around 102, 103. Uh, they're going to continue to go up. Of course, that happens quite a bit uh, in Las Vegas. Well, we're going to keep you posted on everything that's going on around here, uh, impacts to the All Hazards Consortium and, and uh, these storms that are coming through the mid-Atlantic here. Uh, these are impressive thunderstorms. Uh, not a whole lot of them are severe warned as of yet, but the one in Frederick County is. Uh, I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and GeoCollaborate. Uh, if you can, please search out and order a no weather radio. This is uh, one of the ones that also you can program for your specific area in your county, and it won't go off unless something's going to impact you. They're portable and programmable, and you can take these with you. This is the one that's gone off a couple of times today, uh, and you can take these with you when you're camping. And uh, they will go off and let you know uh, that you need to evacuate or you need to get away. There's a flood warning in certain uh, river basins, uh, wherever you might be camping. Uh, that is something that we really need to have all campgrounds. Make sure that they have these no weather radios. Also, camps for kids. Thanks so much for watching this update. I'm Dave Jones with Storm Center Communications and Geo Collaborate. Uh, we'll be back again uh, tomorrow with a brief update. Uh, until then, please be safe, watch out for yourself, and also watch out for your neighbors. They really do appreciate it. Have yourself a good day and be safe.